Hello, I'm Lawrence Brookfield, and I was the editor in The Hurt. Uh, hi, I'm Tim Sayers. I was the camera operator for The Hurt. Okay, now we're just going to click play, and then uh, we're going to talk you through what we did. Yeah. Okay, so starting off here, uh, mainly just keeping the two together and opening on a kind of long shot with a fade in and a fade out to show time passing. I mean, what did you think of the camera work on the next scene? Uh, for this one, we used a, uh, a wider shot for a bit of framing for Lauren to keep, you know, keep her in focus, really, and then move into a shot that shows that they're kind of close together, but you know, still show that they're you know, the distancing between them by them not actually touching each other. Okay, and then, then we had a little flash of something, and uh, that really connects what's going to happen in the future, and then again using another fade to show time passing. Um, if you watch it, keep watching, then it happens once more. Um, we see that an editor did he's gone. Um, what, do you, what, what would you think about how the camera, how you did the cameras? Uh, this was uh, an interesting shot to film. It was uh, you know, trying to keep with Lauren while staying at uh, you know, a certain level of steadiness. Um, and kind of following her was difficult. But it really, it really worked for the piece, you know, and kept kind of an intimate idea with her. Yeah, and also with all these scenes linked together, we mainly linked it with the, well, I mainly linked it with the music, being that every shot really has, the, as the music goes on, we see that the story follows the music, and this was a really interesting editing technique. As uh, um, if we take, if we pause it there for a second, um, with that scene that's just happened there, what, it took us how long did it take us to do that again? Uh, it took us about. Uh, was it about 30 seconds to uh, to uh, get ready for the next shot so it, so we could easily smoothly transition between the two and give an idea that it's almost a memory yeah because um in in the editing stages on um, if you when we watched the hurt it almost seems like it was a simple shot just changed to different color durations but it's actually uh, two separate shots but um, we've edited out a huge bit in the middle because we had to wait for a bit, didn't we? We had to wait for the actors to actually get in position as we continued from one shot onto the next without actually stopping the recording. And what did you, what did you find of that? Uh, it was uh, it was quite it was quite a difficult shot to pull off, but uh, we really uh, pulled it together to make it work. And... Okay, so we're going to play again. Okay, so on this show, it was mainly I mainly kept it black and white, and uh, talking to the director, that's what um, she wanted as well. We 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 wanted to kind of show that this was really dark and bleak, so the color durations are very uh, are very pixelated and very um, naturalistic lighting. Um, the music here, we really wanted to kick it in um, to really create a sense of disturbia to the audience, so to make them feel out of place and uncomfortable and. I mean, what did you what did you find filming on this? Because we we found it kind of we paused it there again before the next transition. What did you find filming filming that shot? How did you find filming it? Uh, filming it was quite interesting. It was uh, it was quite a tight space to be working in, so it was trying to keep it uh, far away enough that we uh, still you know can see the characters appropriately, but you know keep it close so we get we really kind of connect with them. Yeah, those characters. Yeah. And we took about three shots, didn't we, on that one? We took the one about the long shot with the characters being stabbed. We took another shot of the. Uh, well, actually, how about what, what kind of shots did you? What kind of shots did you actually want to do? Because it was mainly we mainly had a controversy between me, the director, and the, uh, the and Tim, our cameraman, and um, we wanted to see how the creative shots. I mean, what did you find of making up your own shots? Um. It was uh, it was a big responsibility, but it re I really think it helped the overall effect for the for the piece. Um, it was you know trying to get kind of a feeling of distancing between the different characters, but also showing that they're uh, you know they have there's a relation between them. They're not just weird strangers passing by. So uh, it was uh, you know the director was pretty good about uh, allowing me to explore this, but. I tried to uh, uh, still do what she want, wanted, but you know, and obviously, I worked a bit with you to see what you you were trying to achieve, and that gave us mm. some nice transitions between showing the characters in the alleyway. Yeah. 
With this transition again, um, it was very much a different take on it. We wanted to, I wanted to like kind of express the fact it was a deeper, more emotional um, impact. And with here, with with Reese again, these were another two shots with um, brilliantly composed with actually just fading Reese out, which was the simplest sound. But we wanted to try and create a time is passing. Again, we go back to the final shot, which was really quite fun to shoot because there were actually two, again, two different shots and showing that she's actually, it was kind of in a dream state all the way through the film. I mean, what did you what did you find of that? Um, I thought it was really effective for the piece. Um, I, again, it kind of uh, was a case of um, keep, uh, keeping it as steady as possible for uh, just for the sake of it looking smooth and dreamy. But... Um, also, uh, sort of, like we kept, again, we kept it kind of close to them to just kind of enhance the intimacy between the two characters. Yeah. Okay, so you have been watching The Hurt, and uh, you can view this on Just Frankism's YouTube account. It will also be on disc for anyone who wants to watch it. Uh, I've been Lawrence Brookfield, this has been Tim.